Okay, so here is the demo piece that I went through in the previous video. I'm gonna use this as an example of how to very quickly work with the render tools in Fusion 360. So in the workspaces, you can go from design over to render. And this is where we can create realistic or semi-realistic images of our product. Now the render tool has got a lot of different functionalities to it. It looks quite simple, but these images and these symbols look, may look a little bit confusing or a little bit scary to some of you, don't worry. The first thing we look at is the scene settings. And this is where you can adjust your lighting. Now by default, the lighting, if I go back to restore defaults, is down here. And it does look a little bit dark on my model. I'm gonna up my lighting just a touch. And you can change the position of the camera. So by default, if I reset that, it's here. And I'm gonna, you can adjust it left and right. So it's going over that way. And this is more less about the shadow, more about where the light is coming from. So I'm gonna have my shadow about there, I think. I can close that down. Now I would recommend that you zoom out or zoom in so that your works fills almost the, almost the entire space along here. So you don't want it overlapping because you might cut bits of your image off, but you want it mostly filling it. Now there's two render tools. You have got in canvas render, and you've got full render. We'll look at in canvas render first. By in canvas render, you just press that button there. And depending on what quality you set down at the bottom right, depends how long it's gonna take and how many iterations it's gonna do. And it's gonna redraw it itself every time. So for this, it's taking not too long to get to excellent quality. And we'll see the difference between excellent and final. So there's 19 seconds to get to excellent. And what I'm gonna do is I am going to capture that image, press OK, and you can either save this to your cloud folder, but I'm gonna save mine to my desktop. So on my desktop, I can press save. Uh, I've already done this once earlier, so I'm gonna replace that one I've got there, yes. So if I now open that up, and I'll bring this over here so you can see it, you can see that I've got quite a nice version of it. I've got nice little reflections along here. The transparency of that glass material is very visible there and the matteness of that is visible. But you, you zoom in and you can see it's quite pixelated. It's not actually that good detail quality. So we'll close that down. So let's now up that to the final quality. So you can see now that's taken a total of 55 seconds and it continued from where it was, and it's 88 iterations. And it's already, you can see on here, a better quality render. There's more reflections are visible, the smoother textures. And I can again take another image. I can capture that. I'm gonna save it to my desktop again. And here is that image. And you can see it here, it's a bit better. What you can see is when you're going close, it's a little bit less blurry on this one than it was the other one a little bit less pitting on the images, but it's still not perfect. If you want to look really good, you go over to the render one over here. So you stop your in-canvas render, and you could, from a lot of you, just taking a screenshot of that would be very, very good. But if we go to render, there's a lot of options on here, and you can adjust a lot of the different functionality with regards to the image size, and the number of megapixels, you can go in all, all different settings up here, even custom settings. And you've got two options within here, cloud render or local render. If you're using a computer at home and it's a decent computer, you can do a local render and you can control when it starts, when it finishes. If you haven't got the processing power on your personal computer, you can use cloud render. And that's where it renders on the Autodesk cloud servers and it will appear in your cloud files. I'm going to do a local render right now and you can adjust your settings. I'm going to jump mine all up to excellent and I can press render. Okay, mine is now done. That loading bar is finished. I can click on this bit here. Sometimes it, on large ones, it tells you how long it took. Sometimes it just says how, when it finished and that's looking really nice. I can download that as an image and I can open that up. And you can see this is a much better quality image. 
much nicer quality. You can see more reflections on there. The textures look more realistic. You can make this look very, very lifelike, very, very real. So those are the tools. That's how we use the render workspace. You can adjust your settings, especially within the render settings to make things a lot nicer. So I've got this at 1080 at 2.1, but you can really increase these file sizes depending on what settings you choose. So if I was to go something like this, 8.4 mega, megapixels, that's going to be a much larger file size and that's going to really <coughs> take longer to do, but also be a lot nicer. So if I give that a quick try now for you. And you can see down here on mine, it's got the little two function. So if I open that up, I've got the first one I've done and now this one I'm doing here. And there we go, mine's just finished. So it submitted two minutes ago, so it only took two minutes out of the four minutes it suggested. And if I download that now, and here we go. So you can see it's even nicer quality here. It's a much larger image. You can see more, much more detail. It's not perfect, you still got bits like this, but if you go around playing some of the settings, you can get things looking even better. It can look really, really good. So those are the tools that we can play with. And this is how you can make your work really stand out and give us some really good quality coursework. Okay, good luck.